so we talked about this magic methods uh, we use this construct under a uh, double underscore construct magic method inside our code and we also talked about class and we took the first step of creating an object the first step that we looked at was to instantiate the object in, in outside our class or we created a we created an object using the blueprint that we named as the that we named as the post output now in here we created this object called first post and this is also somewhat of a variable it uses memory allocation and it stores something inside the RAM and we referred it using our object operator so uh, so in the instantiation project uh, I mean the instantiation approach we use the object operator which actually looks like something of a hyphen followed by a greater than symbol what it does is that when we create this object using this new keyword we always need to instantiate this object using the new keyword and when we refer the constructor method from the post output class and we pass a string inside it this gets stored inside this post property and then this entire object is now being replicated inside this first post variable and hence this first uh, post variable turns to be an object now when we want to refer to anything inside that object we obviously need to use that object operator because we have already created an object a realistic object that exists inside the memory it has its own memory allocation or its its own memory space that's why anything we uh, that anything that needs to be referred out of that object uh, I've already told you that this first post turns out to be an object anything that needs to be referred out of that object suppose we want to refer the posts uh, property out of that object we need to use that object operator so this means that we are extracting this uh, we are extracting this posts property out of the object that we uh, created in the previous line so that's why we use the object operator we also use that object operator when we want to refer to something that has a global scope so this posts uh, this posts property has a global scope inside uh, inside the, uh, inside the class or the blueprint of our script so this if we if you are familiar with scoping inside programming languages then you might obviously understand that you cannot actually use a parameter this parameter is also a variable this parameter inside this function this magic method is also a variable so this uh, variable which we know as a parameter can only be used inside this method it cannot be referred outside this method this uh, uh, this uh, pro uh, this parameter na named as name only exists inside this curly braces and it has no existence outside the curly braces so it has a local scope now the post property that we already this uh, defined we already declared before de uh, defining the magic method means that this posts property will have a global scope inside the class a global scope means you can use it anywhere or uh, in any number of functions or any number of methods that you create inside the class so because this is a, this has a global scope we can use the this uh, we can use the posts property inside our function but we cannot use the name parameter or which is also a variable outside this construct magic method it only exists inside the scope of this curly braces which are the part which defines the functionality for this construct magic method i guess you're clear with this so we are using this object property because 
we have already uh, this actually means that we are referring to an object this object extract uh, extract the property called posts from this object so uh, sorry for that so, um, so I was talking about the this keyword so that this keyword is, is followed by the object property because it has the post uh, property has got the uh, global scope so anything that exists inside the global scope of an object needs to be referred using the this keyword so in here what it means that when the object is created this posts property will needs to be retrieved from the global scope and it needs to be brought inside the local scope of the construct function so that this means the global scope inside an object so this will obviously be effective when an object is instantiated or when an object is created so this uh, so the this keyword becomes effective when we create this first post object after the class declaration so now let's actually take the second approach of creating an object the first approach was to instantiate it using the new keyword and we created a variable to store our object and hence our variable became an object itself so now the second approach is to use a scope resolution operator uh, which is which looks something like two columns and it actually refers to a statically declared class so a statically declared class does not require the instantiation uh, process of using this new keyword or passing along a value inside the constructor so let's see what happens when we try to uh, statically declare a method the first thing that we will be looking at is how to use a static keyword inside a magic function will it actually work and will our id or the netbeans id um, can our netbeans id actually identify the problem can it do that or do we need to use some other process of identifying our bug so let's actually uh, intentionally create a bug for the first time and let's save this so in here you see that our code is syntactically and perhaps it's actually correct according to our id but is it truly correct let's test it uh, let's actually run this on our browser so i have got my chrome opened up and let's rephrase the page so when you refresh this out you see that there is a fatal error on line 7 so the line 7 is this part what happens in here uh, it actually describes the problem constructor po post underscore output and the construct magic method cannot be static so we learned that any method other than any custom method created by us uh, other than the magic methods that are provided by the default libraries of PHP can be uh, created with the static keyword and hence they can be statically declared but the magic methods does not hold the right perhaps to use the static keyword and they cannot be used to statically declare the object so hence we need to remove this and uh, to remove this part let's uh, save this again and this time and this time obviously we will have our uh, script rendering out successfully so you must be careful whenever creating scripts in uh, for for your clients because you must test them in not in a live uh, in a, not in a live environment but try to test them in a production environment uh, I mean in a development environment don't go for production environment unless you're sure that your code is absolutely uh, error free so that's why I'm showing you two processes simultaneously 
because our ID is not always capable enough to tell us everything explicitly but sometimes we need to take the advantage of our local servers so let us now focus on creating a static method the first thing that we'll be looking at is how to create a static method so let's actually uh, use this static keyword and let us create another uh, function or method a class method that uh, that may be something called um, that can be known as category uh, container and let's so our container method is now statically declared now we need to define the functionality inside it so the container method um, maybe we can actually create a functionality of something like it will take the posts inside uh, in, in the class will define a design of taking all the posts and then it will go on and 